story out of Manhattan. The National Bio and Agro Defense Facility held its ribbon cutting ceremony today. The billion dollar plus facilities more than a decade in the making. 13th Joseph Robin was there to show what the facility will mean for agriculture. One, two, two three. three. The National Bio and Agro Defense Facility officially opened its doors Wednesday after 16 years of planning and construction. This is a monumental day for our entire state. This $1.25 billion lab, the only one of its kind in the country, will put us on the front lines of making the entire country and the world safer, healthier, and more resilient through research, training, and diagnostics. The facility at the edge of K-State's campus will help protect the nation's agriculture, farmers, and citizens against the threat and potential impact of serious animal diseases. MBAF replaces the 68-year-old Plum Island Animal Disease Center, which is a biosafety level 3 facility. Senator Jerry Moran says the people were the deciding factor in bringing MBAF to Kansas. I have no doubt that Kansas was the right choice for this facility. Here in the heart of the nation, surrounded by farm country, surrounded by students who come from that farm country, at a premier agriculture university. K-State University is excited to partner with USDA to create opportunities for future students. Our university continues to push research boundaries to create the best student experience in America, and we're ready to lead in the workforce. K-State is excited. More importantly, K-State is ready for this partnership with USDA ARS, and our community is ready too. MBAF will be the first in the U.S. to provide maximum biocontainment laboratories capable of housing large livestock to develop vaccines and diagnostics for diseases. To what I love about the Agriculture Research Service, we don't do science for science sake. There's a real problem, a real challenge in agriculture, and our scientists get to work on finding a scientific solution. And I'm excited to be the chief scientist, and more importantly, I'm excited for the scientists who get to work in this amazing facility. 11% of jobs have some ties to agriculture, so protecting livestock and agricultural interests also protects the economy. This ribbon cutting is the beginning of opportunities that we are seeing already come to fruition and some ideas and thoughts that have never occurred to us yet. And decades from now, people will look back and see this facility is here, changing the nature of our state and protecting and in growing the economy of our country. In Manhattan, Joseph Robin, 13 News. And BAF will eventually have about 400 employees. Currently, there are about 280. A bill